and a very good afternoon and a warm welcome to Bridge Avenue, the home of AFC Hornchurch. This afternoon it's the Essex Sunday football combination, Beckler Cup Final. And it's a game between two of the top sides in the third division of the Essex Sunday football combination. As the two sets of players shake hands, they're very familiar with one another. Rubbed shoulders in the league campaign in the last few months. We met at uh, Loughton back in October when uh, Loughton Wanderers turned home advantage into a 2 1 victory. And in January, the return at West Essex Reserves saw the home side victorious by three goals to two. Let's have a run through the two lineups. First of all, West Essex reserves Rob Harris in goal, Billy Johnson, Kane Radley, Vinnie Cruikshank, and Simon Premier in the back four. A midfield five of Carl White, Joe Burford, Paul McBride, Ryan Kay, and the captain Mark Lippman. Ryan Wood leads the attack. Colin Michael, Jack Hamblem, Bradley Kay, Chris Galvin, and Ross Burgess are the five named substitutes for this cup final this afternoon. Switching over to the champions, Loughton Wanderers. They line up with Frank Cook in goal, a back four of Billy Hall, Paul Silvery, the captain, Tom Hoadley and Tom Benson. A midfield five of Owen McKelvey, Billy Manuel, uh, Josh Allen. Tom Hockley will be the holding midfielder in the number 69 shirt and Bradley Barker on the left. Sean Marshall leads the attack. Stephen Bradley, James Rowlett, Danny Goff and Tom Elliott are the four named substitutes for Loughton Wanderers this afternoon. There have been goals when these two sides have met this year. And nicely there by Lippmann. Captain couldn't quite grab hold of it. There's a real shooting opportunity and that was a wonderful chance for Joe Burford. And he didn't make the most of what was the clearest cut opportunity so far in the game and he shot straight at Frank Cook. Really should have done better Burford. This is Billy Hall with the throwing. Throwing two. Put on there by Lippmann. Tom Hockley. Holding midfielder. Ball over the top. This is a chance here for Josh Allen. Oh, inches wide. What a wonderful chance that was for Loughton to take the lead. The ball over the top wasn't dealt with by West Essex. It was an up and under from Hockley. The two defenders missed it. It was in between uh, Johnson and uh, I think it was uh, Radley. And he really should have scored. The chance may be here. Sean Marshall has to go alone. Tries to cut it back towards the far post and Josh Allen couldn't quite reach it. Two good chances inside a minute for Loughton Wanderers. And this after West Essex had a very good chance of their own early on through Joe Burfield. Backing up the free kicks. That's another opportunity to put some pressure on the Loughton defence. Lipman. Caught up a little bit in the wind, and that's a wonderful chance, and that's a brilliant save. Joe Burfield with the volley first time, and Frank Cook was in the right place at the right time, the goalkeeper, to get his body behind it and make a good save, and it was a good save too. This is that chance again. Let's have a look at it. Gets caught up in the wind there, just miss, missed by Sauvery. Comes back in. Look at that for a volley. Look at that for a save. He couldn't have struck it any sweeter, Burfield. Throw in to Loughton Wanderers, which will be taken by Sean Marshall. He is the lone striker, but he does possess this long throw, which they've called upon on a couple of occasions already this afternoon. Throw in into the box, but it's cleared away by Simon Premi right into the path of Wood. Wood with a long searching ball over the top. There's plenty of pace. The ball over the goalkeeper from Carl White. He's taken it in a very wide position. Still White and off the line by Silvery. 
White's pace there was the undoing of Loughton Wanderers, but he was just forced wide by the on-rushing goalkeeper Frank Cook. Now a chance to break at the other end. Move forward towards Sean Marshall by Josh Allen, and it'll be a throw-in to Loughton Wanderers. You mentioned earlier the uh, history of Loughton Wanderers only going back a couple of years. An older club, West Essex, following their trade in the Forest and District League before joining the Essex Sunday Football Combination back in 2011. That's a bobbling ball, and that'll go down as an own goal. Oh dear, dear. Well, in a game that was always going to be tight, it's a gift for West Essex reserves. They celebrate, but it goes down as an own goal. Ryan Wood might be taking the plaudits there, but it's a Paul Sauvery own goal. And poor old Frank Cook, who's made a couple of really good saves in this first half, has been caught out. Gets here first, Sauvery just tucks it back to his goalkeeper. It bobbles there, and it's just gone beyond Frank Cook as he went and swung his right foot at it. And it's 1 0 to West Essex reserves. A calamity goal has opened the scoring in a cup final where chances have been aplenty. Forward comes Premi, takes the return as well from Lippen. Premi with the cross. Oh, it's eluded everyone and it's 2 0. A simple tap in from Paul McBride. And on 27 minutes, they double their advantage. And it all came out of relatively little. A throw in on the left hand side. It didn't look too dangerous, Premier's ball in. We thought it was going to be dealt with. It was missed there. The header from Tom Benson was a disappointing one. And it was another gift. And it was a gift that was snapped up. And Paul McBride made the most of the opportunity from just a couple of yards out beating Frank Cook and it's 2-0 to West Essex reserves in the Brighton Cup final here at Bridge Avenue third goal for West Essex would really give them a massive cushion going into half time half time which is uh, around about 8 minutes uh, or so away plus uh, added time in the first half Pull back. There's a chance here. Lovely skills. Oh, it really should have been three. And it was blazed over the top. Great combination played by Wood and Kay. Carl White, I think it was. But couldn't hit the target from a really good position. Cut back here. This is great skill here by Ryan Kay. Got the better of Solvery. Skips past Billy Hall's challenge, pulls it back, and there was Carl White. Just flew up at him at an angle. He was unable to steer that shot into the back of the net for 3 0. A let off for Loughton, who are still in it at 2 0. Manuel, lost by Hockley. Little ball over the top, and this is 3 0. Cole White, no mistake this time. Fired over with a really good chance just a minute ago. But on 38 minutes, Cole White makes it 3-0. And surely now, the orange and black ribbons are being readied for the Beitler Cup. It's going to take a fantastic comeback from Lelton Wanderers now. Three goals in a space of 12 minutes or so has turned this cup final into a one-sided contest. Little through ball here, just on side. Great ball by Paul McBride, the scorer of the second. Great composure here by Carl White, who threads it past Frank Cook to make it 
change here. Bradley Barker going off. And Danny Goff is coming on. Plenty of uh, soul searching for the Loughton Wanderers manager Ken Smiley and his team in that dressing room at half time. 3 0 is bad enough, they really don't want it to be 4 0. This is Mark Lippman with the free kick. Hit way well by Silvery. But there is the half time whistle. And uh, it's a long old trek back to the dressing room for Loughton Wanderers. The champions that they are of the Essex Sunday Football Combination 3rd Division. They find themselves trailing here at half time in the Betler Cup final. To West Essex reserves by three goals to nil. Paul Sorcery's own goal. Paul McBride and Cole White with the goals. Frustration and anger there as can be seen for Josh Allen. There's a mountain to climb for Loughton Wanderers. They trail here at half time by three goals to nil. Gloriously sunny afternoon here at uh, Bridge Avenue. Pitch is in excellent condition as well in mind the wear and tear of a long hard football season not too many bare spots out there through the middle of the pitch but certainly yeah, that one will point to one or two bubbles especially for the first goal but they've got a chance of getting back into the game here and that's a really good save by Rob Harris lifted in towards goal by Marshall no takers and he couldn't find the target from the acutest of angles but that was another chance for Marshall he had to do it all alone and he was unable to find a way past Rob Harris there the keeper done very well for West Essex Marshall to Hockley Hockley steering it forward but they're giving the ball away and then won it back again this is Benson up from the left back position still going here Benson spreads it wide towards uh, Josh Allen and Josh Allen across the face of goal and it's turned away by Premi and straight into the arms of Rob Harris good defending there by Premi but excellent play by Josh Allen good work as well from Tom Benson up from the fullback position better from now to Wanderers and their best chance of the second half certainly they throw in to rest their six they're quite happy to uh, force their way forward rather slowly down that uh, touchline away by Silvery Blows Josh Allen by Benson it's Allen again running towards the opposition half little ball over the top and there's one back for the side that won the division they have got the goal back, maybe the catalyst for a comeback. The substitute, Danny Goff, with the goal on 64 minutes. And maybe that is the turning point in this afternoon's match. Great running once again here by Josh Allen. You get the feeling if anything was going to happen for Loughton Wanderers, it was going to be through Josh Allen. A little through ball. And this is a really good finish. Just gets in between the... Defender there, Krukshank and the goalkeeper Harris and slots the ball past them and into the inviting net. Just about enough pace on the shot to see it through. And Loughton Wanderers are on the score sheet through Danny Goff. Does that get them back into the game? No, that is the big question. Have they got it in them to find another two goals? Still plenty of time, of course. Cole White comes uh, off. Okay, is the man to come on. No signs have just used the one sub so far. Decent looking ball, and there's no flag this time, and there's a chance here for Bradley Kay to make it four, 
That surely would have won the cup. K again. Danger hasn't yet been averted for Loughton Wanderers. Fullback Johnson. He's done well here, Johnson. Snapping in his heels is Allen. The cross coming in from Bradley K. Eventually cleared by Billy Hall. Manuel will leave this throw in for Sean Marshall. Another long throw for Marshall is anticipated. Marshall's long throw towards the penalty area. Just about got a fist to that, Rob Harris. Marshall again. Past the uh, nearest man to him, which was Lippman. And there's a chance of a breakaway here. The substitute, Bradley Kay, is away down the right hand side. Kay has uh, plenty of room to manoeuvre into. Still Kay going on the outside, just tucking it forward towards Johnson. Johnson's cross, and there is number four for Ryan Wood. Surely now, West Essex reserves have got their hands on the Vital Cup. 15 minutes from time, and Ryan Wood has made it 4-1. Well, they left themselves exposed, Loughton. Good overlap play here by Billy Johnson. The cutback was excellent, just beyond Frank Cook, and it was an easy finish from Ryan Wood. He's regularly on the score sheet, but he couldn't have scored an easier one than that one. And Michael is coming on for Lippmann. Change coming up here for Loughton. It's a gamble. Benson, the left back, is the man to make way. And James Rowlett coming on. The last ten minutes. Flick on and surely one back. No, it just eluded everyone. Hoadley was in there causing problems and it nearly fell for Billy Hall coming in at the back post. There is going to be a change for West Essex in just a second. Ryan Kay his last contribution was to fire that shot wide just a few moments ago. And take off on the top of the field up. Sure things up for the side that are on the verge of lifting the Bradley Cup here at Bridge Avenue. Corner that's going to be taken by Colin Michael. Out swing up from the substitute. In the way, didn't have too many bodies in the box there. They're uh, sticking with what they got here, West Essex. Little flick, and there's a chance here, maybe for a fifth. The shot in the end. Slightly tame from Jack Hamlet. Uh, go really pull the trigger with any power. Michael's throw. It's a cross in Michael, but it's behind. It's a goal kick. Best dressed ball boy in town today. Riding forward, all the way to the end here. Or click <laughs> to find uh, Josh Allen, who seems to have run off that knock earlier. Got another one now. There's a bit of pain here, Josh Allen. Yeah, he was trying to get to. Uh, Ref Rubes in the way. He's just cramped. He's covered to Miles, says Josh Allen. And 
Riley knows it as well. And there is the final whistle. The final score. Houghton Wanderers 1, West Essex reserves for very good cup final it has to be said as well both sides had their chances and a very sprightly opening to the game the first goal was always going to be key and when it came it came via a very bizarre own goal from Paul Sovery